Hi, my name is Quan Shen or Shen Quan in Chinese. I am a math teacher here at Rectory School. Currently, I am teaching 9th grade pre-calculus, 9th grade geometry, and 6th grade mathematics. Over the past few years, I have taught almost all the math classes at Rectory, including pre-algebra, algebra 1, geometry, pre-calculus, and 6th grade mathematics. I coach girls varsity volleyball in the fall term and JV tennis in the spring term. One of the joy of working here at Rectory is that I get to work with wonderful colleagues who have different backgrounds. I can always learn from them and we work together to figure out how we can help each student individually. Before coming to Rectory, I intended to teach at a high school instead of a middle school because I thought I could not handle the middle school students. The middle school students need more attention and they need more help on dorm especially. But now after a few years, I think I am a superhero right now and who can always be there for the students and support when they need anything. I particularly enjoy working with the ninth graders. I can participate in their application process by giving them some guidance to how they write their personal statements, how they prepare their academic parts so that they are more competitive. And I also had a chance to write them recommendations and had a second chance to reflect on the student and see their growth from an immature student to a very fine young man and young woman. The students are very kind, they are collaborative, and they always give me surprise and enjoyment. That's what I like about living here as a boarding faculty on, on the Rectory campus. I eat in a dining hall with the students, I coach students, and I play sports with the students on the field. I get to see them a lot, and they always bring me a lot of positive energy and joy. I especially enjoy working with the international students because I am a more familiar face to them. No matter where they come from, seeing a different face on the Rectory campus is beneficial for them. They will feel like, oh, I have someone who probably has a similar background as me. One of the benefits of working at a boarding school is that I get to see my students during daytime study hall as well as evening study hall. During these study hall periods, I get to see students' learning habits and I could give them more detailed instructions on how to study for a test, for example, and how to finish their homework. I can also give them some individualized instructions during study hall so they can learn math in their own ways. In my math classes, especially the higher level math classes, I try to implement flipped classroom. So students will come to my classroom with a lot of questions. Those questions can come from their homework, can come from their questions towards the following lesson. And I can answer their questions and I can give them some hints. So in my classroom, I am more like a facilitator who guides them to answer the questions that they would like to explore around. I enjoy teaching math because this is a subject full of creativity. For example, students are required to draw a lot of things in my geometry classes, and they're going to use their creative ways to measure, to figure out the properties before I told them this is right or this is wrong. I encourage students to use different methods to get the same answer, and then summarize to say, oh, this is the method that I like the most. Sometimes students will give me some creative answers using their own methods. Even though some of the answers are not correct, I still reward them for their creativity. Math can be very fun in my class. I teach them how to invest money in my pre-calculus class using the exponential growth model. So students will have a chance to really get to experience how their money grow eventually in 10 years. Through the experience to connect math with their real life, students get to know math more and get to love math. So I went to middle school and high school in China. In a typical traditional Chinese classroom, students only take notes and listen to the teachers. Teachers talk through the whole lesson. However, in America, students are more creative and more collaborative. They come into a class, they ask questions, they talk about the questions, and they even can debate with each other and convince each other that their answers are correct. I see the merits of both education, and I try to, in my classroom, combine the advantage part of both educations. So in my class, half of the time, students will collaborate with each other and work on the problems and try to figure out the answers by themselves on their own, and they will ask a lot of why questions, and I only give them some guidance not tell them what to do. And in the other half of the class, students will listen to me and take notes and then really understand the problem-solving strategies. I love 
Technology. Personally, I use technology a lot in my real life, and I think it is a way to attract students and keep them focused. Every class, I would post my notes on the screen of the smart board, and I would annotate on the screen so that students will really see my work immediately. And in all of my classes, I would also encourage students to come up to the board and then show their work on the screen. Through that experience, students pay more attention to the work that they show, and they even realize their own mistakes as soon as they wrote down the wrong answer. After that, we can discuss their problem-solving strategies, and everyone can learn from each other. Over the past few years, I've seen a lot of students who claimed that they were struggling with math or they didn't like math. And I always said to them, "Be patient and try math. Make some mistakes, learn from your mistakes, and try to focus on the progress, not the result, not the scores that you got on a quiz." And I've seen most of my students become better at math. And at the end of the school year, I am proud that some of them even said, "Oh, I actually love math right now. I loved math since I was a young student. I loved it that math is logical." And I love it that there is always a correct answer, even there might be some no solution cases. But no solution is also a solution in math. During my high school life, I had a desk mate who struggled with math to begin with, and I helped him a lot during the class and after school to try to answer his questions and try to tell him this is how you can do to solve a problem. And he listened, and he became a top student when he graduated high school. From this experience, I realized that I could really be a good math teacher. So after graduating high school, I wanted to be a teacher. However, my parents were completely against my decision to be a teacher because they wanted me to do something that brings me more money. My dad wanted me to be a computer scientist, and my mom wanted me to be a businessman or you know someone who works in the finance field. So they agreed that I could study math because they thought I would I would work on the Wall Street in the future. So after graduating high school in China, I attended NYU Shanghai. So this is a very special school because I get to spend three years in Shanghai and one year studying abroad in New York City. After finishing my undergrad studies, I had two options: one to get a job in China and work as a teacher. Or I can apply for a grad school and come to the U.S. and finish my grad studies. I chose to come to Boston College because I wanted to get more experience studying and teaching in America. When I think back my high school life, my desk mate and I always helped each other and we supported each other. We try to make each other better people. In my classroom, I teach students to be better people first before learning math. And I hope that my students can help each other in many ways throughout their journey at Rectory School. I grew up in Hangzhou, which is a modern city in the eastern part of China. And Hangzhou is a busy and bustling city. So growing up, I'm I was so used to living in a noisy life. After coming to Rectory, I realized that this is the life that I want because it is quiet and peaceful. I enjoy my life at Rectory because I get to work on campus and I have my life off campus. When I'm off duty on weekends, I would go to Boston and meet my friends. We would go out shopping and have wonderful food. So, in other words, in my life right now, I still get to experience the big city lives in addition to the rural country life. One of the things that I enjoy doing outside of teaching is cooking. I enjoy cooking since I was young. When I stood next to my parents when they were cooking, nobody ever taught me how to cook, but I just learned the techniques from my parents and also my grandparents. One of my life beliefs is to keep an open mind. I would like to embrace all different possibilities and all different cultures. At Rectory, I get to work with students and. Parents from different cultures and appreciate their different approaches to life. If you are considering applying to Rectory School, you should know that this is a very diverse community. We have students from all over the world, and at Rectory, students can learn from each other, to learn from the culture, to learn to accept the difference.